what is up everybody it's Evan Bacon from Expo and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool way to use Redux called Rematch. Rematch is a really cool Redux framework it works for both React and React Native and uh, it implements a lot of common features and uh, functionality it also allows for you to use these things called effects which allow you to be asynchronous and impure alright so step one go to snack.expo.io and scan the QR with your Expo client. Boom, just like that. Now you can see your app should be loading on up. If we come in here, as always, we get all that sweet live reload stuff that we love. The most important part of any rematch project is the models file. So let's go ahead and initialize a models file. Essentially what we're going to do is export a const and then the const this will be the name of our key in the high level redux object let's go ahead call this one count then we're gonna have our initial state which could be zero it could be an object with a thing called count and then zero let's go ahead and leave this at zero what's so cool about rematch is that it allows us to be more uh, abstract with our redux we can have much smaller redux objects because it's so clean and easy to implement let's go ahead we'll have state and then we'll have our reducers right here. This will be an object and uh, our reducers will just be a bunch of functions so we can have like increment and we'll pass in, you would get state and then you would get props and then we will return our new state which would be uh, state plus one. We don't need to do any of like the crazy object manipulation because it's such a, a small uh, state and reducer. Alright, now we're gonna have our effects. These uh, allow us to kind of like not have to use any thunks or anything. So let's go ahead, add an effect. We have this effects object and inside of here we would add more uh, functions. So we can have add async and this would be an async function and we could do kind of just whatever we want in it. Let's, um, I don't know, we don't actually need it to be like asynchronous right now so we can say uh, Essentially, all of these uh, actions will be uh, available at a high-level object called dispatch. So we're going to go ahead and import uh, dispatch, if I can learn how to spell, from at rematch slash core. That's the core library that we want to download and import for our rematch to work. So it looks like we have some error here. We're just not using the props that are passed through. Go ahead and return that. Uh, so essentially we can call uh, dispatch dot count because that's this function and then we can call effects or reducers from here so we could call uh, add async and create a lovely um, like recursive loop or we could call increment I'm gonna go ahead and change increment to just add and add so now when we call add async then it will call an async function return a promise and eventually it will call add after it's gotten its information let's go ahead and apply this to some information and initialize the object so to initialize it it's very similar to any other kind of redux application we are going to go ahead and bring in react redux and we're going to make a provider create a store and then initialize the application with that store and provider at the highest level first thing we're going to do is bring in the provider so import provider from react redux very simply and then we're going to create our store so we need the init function from uh, rematch so bring in init from at rematch slash core again now to make our store we're going to call stores assigned init and we will pass in our models object to get the models object we should also bring that one in cool because models is essentially going to be an object that looks like I don't know at the mo moment it's going to look like count and then it's going to have all of our information inside of it that's what the init store is expecting at least now that we have our store we have our models added to it we can go ahead and add the provider wrapper and give it a store and all the way down here we can close out that provider probably gonna go ahead and get rid of this as well and add some kind of like main application let's make the main application like that and then import main from slash main all right, so I'm going to go around here, hit the prettier button, clean that up a little bit, get rid of our styles, 
get rid of all this stuff up here, some of this, just do some cleanup real quick. Okay, let me explain what's going on here again at a high level. What we're doing is we are bringing in our init function to create the store, we're bringing in our models that we created earlier, and then we've got the provider for wrapping uh, in standard React Redux manner. So we create our store, then we add our provider and assign it this store. And once we've done all this, then our store will be available to every component child that's in main. So let's go ahead and add the main so that we can uh, test it out. I always like to just create another snack and just use this as a base component. Over here in main, we'll add that information. And um, all right, what we're going to want to do is connect this component to our Redux. So export default connect with app, and we'll import connect from React Redux. And so now we'll have our map states to props, deconstruct out count, and we can pass in count just like that. So now if we were to go into here, missing import main. I'm gonna go ahead and give my phone a nice shaking real quick. So now we're displaying the main component. It's been connected with our count. Let's uh, see if we can reference that inside of here with this.props.count. Cool, so you see we have our, our zero button right there. Let's go ahead and give the zero an on press. And then we can bring in our dispatch again. So dispatch.count.add. Import the dispatch from rematch slash core. And now if we touch the zero, it should go up like that. Uh, we can also call add async and it would still do the same thing because we're not really doing anything asynchronously. But you see that's all mapped to the props. It's very simple, very clean, and you see this is our whole uh, React Redux implementation. It's much cleaner than the standard implementation. Uh, I highly recommend it. I use it everywhere and it always works for me. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below or go to the forums or Twitter or email us or join our Slack. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Evan Bacon. Ciao.